Hi, I'm Alex Wuczkowski and this is Geosome Talk. Uh, today I wanted to bring up the topic of geospatial and Earth observation hackathons. Is it worth investing my time in taking part in one of those? The topic came up as we are supporting one of the uh, European Space Agency hackathons called the Cassini hackathons. And I wanted to understand whether you know, all of the slogans related to hackathons are actually true. Will it accelerate my career? Will it accelerate my product idea? You know, does the, the whole networking and mentoring actually works? Uh, and to answer those uh, questions, I've decided to invite a team that took part in uh, the previous edition of the hackathon and actually won it. So I would like to welcome today Blash Jakobin, uh, who is a member of the team that, that actually won one of the past editions. Uh, hello, Blash. Uh, good to have you. Hi, Alex. It's good to be here. Uh, great. Blash, so let's start off by you introducing yourself and tell us a little bit about your background. Sure. Uh, yeah, so hi everybody, my name is Blash. Um, actually, my background is in electrical engineering. I got educated in this topic. Um, after my uh, diploma, I um, did a PhD in robotics, actually in robotic rehabilitation. And then I continued my academic career for a year um, where I mostly did uh, teaching um, with, with students, which was a lot of fun, but then I, I was missing the thrill. So I decided to uh, start my own company uh, with my body from the, from the lab. Uh, we started an IoT company and also we built uh, web uh, platforms and we've been doing this for the last uh, four years. So basically my, my background now is uh, mostly focused on uh, building digital products, web platform, mobile apps and stuff like that. All right, cool. Uh, so what made you won? Uh, what was your, you know, pitch, uh, that, that made you guys, uh, win the competition? Yeah. Um, uh, it, it was pretty funny because, uh, none of us actually have a, a geospatial background. So we put a team together that was, uh, you know, uh, a bunch of friends, uh, all from either from business or from tech. Um, we also have one designer, so we had a pretty good uh, team, but none of us was from a geospatial background. So it was a funny thing because um, we, we were searching, like desperately searching for, for a person that would be like a geospatial specialist. And uh, we got uh, this guy named, uh, named Clemen, who was a really talented engineer, like geospatial, really uh, proficient in, in all these fields. And he really helped us understand the, the the satellite imagery, what we can find from it, and 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 stuff like that. And then all the team together basically came up with a uh, with a solution uh, where we tried to build a product for uh, bark beetle outbreak detection. So as you might be familiar, uh, the bark beetle is a is a bug that is attacking mostly spruce and pine trees and it causes a lot of damage in, in the European Union. So, for example, we estimated that 3 billion uh, euros worth of, of forests are being destroyed every year. And our solution would help the forest managers to get there early, right? So we would then be sooner, we could react faster, uh, they could uh, start their prevention, pre prevention methods uh, much faster if we can uh, give them some actionable insights on that. Okay, so so it's interesting that you actually don't have a background in Earth observation or space or geospatial technologies. So how how did you learn about the the, the hackathon and how did you end up actually participating in it? Yeah, um, so through my company, we're really active in in the startup startup ecosystem uh, around Slovenia. We have a really good startup ecosystem. Uh, actually, um, these guys from. Um, Tovarna Podiemo and Startup Slovenia, Startup Maribor, uh, which is uh, my hometown. They're really, really active. And so they were actually the organizers of the local Casini hack. And they said, hey guys, uh, would you want to join? And yeah, sure. We started to prepare the team and then get the guys together uh, and applied. So at the end, you guys actually you know, won, right? So it's interesting that you don't really need to have this geospatial or observation background 
to to participate and to to really you know, have a disruptive idea, right? So you've mentioned that it was a little bit of gap initially, but you've managed to to overcome it. So was it difficult for you as a team to actually you know have all of those ideas, although your background is in a totally different space? Yeah, that's a really that's a really good question. Um, uh, what I found is that. Uh, you know, to, to, to build an idea, um, you basically need as versatile team as possible um, because you get a lot of insight from, from, from different expertise. And if you want to build a product, you need to understand who, who you're building it for, right? And this is very like business development and sales oriented process. So you need to kind of understand who your clients are, what is your added value with the product, and I had a feeling that the hackathon was really like oriented in building products. So it's not just, okay, let's do some research and put some data out there, but it was like, okay, how do you understand the whole market around it, right? So um, I think what made us win was actually this holistic approach where we could, uh, where we could define actually a product with a uh, web platform around it, you know, um, uh, the the messaging, the alerting, all that all that jazz, and we packaged it uh, nicely, and I think this this made the difference. Okay, so you are obviously a you know, much higher level of maturity as an entrepreneur uh, yourself, right? So, do you think that also like student teams could you know, make a difference, and, and and actually is it worth participating, not being at you no. Know, a CEO of a startup yourself? I mean, uh, for, for sure. Um, before doing this hackathon, uh, I myself and also my team did a lot of hackathons before uh, before this one, just to, just to make it really clear. Um, so it's, I think the hackathons are generally a great opportunity to learn and to meet new people. So to build a network, to gain new expertise, to like understand a, a, a new topic that you might have never like diverged into. Um, so th it's a great opportunity for anyone to get to know a topic and to get to know the experts. Uh, so I would say from students to, to mature entrepreneurs, uh, everybody can mix up in, in, and, and do something great. Okay. Okay. So, so you actually confirmed that it's worth taking part in one of those, right? Yeah, for sure. But I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of work as well. Right. So, uh, if you need like, uh, me to motivate you, uh, it's not a good start. Right. So you, you need to have your, you need to have your internal motivation. Uh, you need to be like, um, driven by, uh, by, you need to be a builder inside. Um, so if you have that, then it's, uh, just go for it. Coming back to this particular uh, hackathon, no, our audience is focused on geospatial and air observation, right? So, uh, no, any thoughts about Cassini hackathons? No, how did you find them? Well, probably compared to all your previous experiences as well. Yeah. Um, so if 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 I'm comparing this hackathon to like the other hackathons, I would say uh, it was uh, run on a pretty high level, uh, very professional. Uh, the program was very clear. Um, the information was communicated like uh, months before, so we had time to prepare. Um, even though we didn't prepare much, but <laughs> you you could prepare. Um, so I would say it was a uh, like um, the 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 top level uh, organization, right? And also the team in Maribor, they're very proficient in organizing such events. And uh, props to them for for putting on a great show, getting a lot of uh, participants involved. And uh, yeah. So so what kind of support did you actually get? How to develop your idea? Was there any mentoring, mentoring support, or you know, engineering support on your on your you know, two days journey? What was really good was that um, we were able to speak to mentors from the industry, like in person, right? So they they came to the to the venue. You could hang out with them. You could like book a meeting with them, um, and we could really like, you know. Uh, explore what the problems are of a specific topic because the topic was kind of insurance and, and uh, finance, right? 
so we 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 try to we try to figure out what the what the how the forests are currently being insured and how this damage is not covered and how we could fix this uh, this gap right um so we could like sit down with the uh, insurance leadership and uh, satellite imagery leadership and just uh, explore and and talk sounds pretty cool so maybe one last question what would you say to someone who is not convinced to to take part in those well he is motivated and driven but he's not convinced whether it's worth taking part in, in the hackathon a uh, couple of words to convince the unconvinced ones so i would say in general if you want to grow in any aspect of your life you need to push yourself out of the comfort zone and if you have like if you feel that this is a good fit for you just do the step and think about the consequences later uh just go for it and um yeah push yourself out of the comfort zone join get a team together uh pitch be as loud as you can that's it thanks so much uh, it was great talking to you i hope that uh we we've managed to convince some people that it's actually worth taking part in, in one of those you certainly convinced me <laughs> good job alex i'm looking forward to joining your team Thanks. Bye-bye.